You ready? Welcome back to CPAC 2014 uh, here at the Hot Air Town Hall booth. I am very pleased to be sitting here with former Senator Fred Thompson of Tennessee, uh, now working on a film called Persecuted. The uh, website for this is persecutedmovie.com. Great cast, great story, uh, and almost ripped out of today's headlines, Senator Thompson. Tell us a little bit about Persecuted. Might say that. Yeah, it's about... The, the, the substance of, uh, of it uh, has to do with the issue of church and state right. and uh, the government and uh, its effect on religion and, and the pressures that it can bear, uh, bring to bear on religious leaders and, and, and so forth. So, and, and it's, it's wrapped in a good old fashioned political thriller. And uh, so uh, um, I'm. Um, I'm in it. I play a, 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 a little bit of a different kind of character for me, a priest. That is a little different character. A little, for you. not exactly typecast, as you <laughs> might say. But uh, it was uh, it was a, a thrill for me, and it's a good movie. And, and we're encouraging people. I think I think conservative folks, especially, uh, would would find it timely and uh, and fun. Timely, but the, the writer for this actually started the script about five years ago, and yeah. this was before. Uh, this is very prescient. This is before we started seeing the issues of, uh, like HHS contraception mandates being, yeah. uh, you know, limiting people's um, freedom of religious expression, uh, the uh, the political correctness at least um, uh, talking about uh, the different positions on whether or not to recognize same-sex marriage as part of the uh, civil culture. Uh, we have progressed. And I use that term advisedly, Senator Thompson. We've progressed from having open debates about these things to almost being told that even to debate some of these questions is um, uh, is forbidden. It's it's a form of hatred to even debate these questions. And that's exactly what yeah. this movie is premised yeah. on, is it not? Yeah, yeah. Real progress is good. It's progressives you have to watch out for. Yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, we. Uh, I, I think the underlying theme here um, is, is uh, has to do with the, the, the age-old adage about the corrupting influence of power. Yep. And uh, the more uh, powerful the government becomes, the bigger that it becomes, uh, the more tentacles that the bureaucracy has, and the more that's handed off to the bureaucracy, the more authority that's taken from the states and centralized, uh, the 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 greater the danger of the abuse of power. And you're going to have abuse of power. You're going to have uh, corruption uh, of all kinds. And you have to be vigilant about it. I, I don't, I think in terms of, you know, bringing in bags of money through the back door kinds of things uh, are less prevalent than, than they've ever been. Uh, but I think in terms of just a flat out abuse of power uh, is, uh, is, is growing. And uh, uh, we have a fictional version of this uh, that, that, as I say, has to do with uh, uh, First Amendment rights and uh, the pressures that can be brought to bear. And uh, our hero in the film stands up to it. He's set up and, and quite a bit of a, of a, of a chase, uh, protracted kind of a, a cat and mouse chase uh, scenario going on through it. But uh, uh, it, it it, it addresses that larger theme that we're seeing play out, and historically we've seen play out around the world. Right, now, let's talk a little bit about the cast, because you've got a great cast in this. And a lot of times when you hear about independent faith-based films, uh, they're usually uh, uh, sort of a, a lower profile of cast, but you're one of the stars of this. James Remar is one of the stars in this. Uh, great character actor. Dean Stockwell. Dean Stockwell. Uh, and so Most tell people would recognize the uh, for sure. Well, it, it's just good, good actors. There, there, there are a lot of very good actors out there that, that I've found that nobody's ever heard of. And uh, a lot, in this business, you know, a lot, has, a lot of it has to do with the breaks and sure and, and, uh, and, and all of that. So uh, you can, um, you, you, you have good folks to, to choose from. And with these independent films now uh, becoming more and more prevalent, a lot of uh, a lot of these actors that are that are slightly uh, lower profile are going to get a chance to show their stuff. Exactly. And I think that's what you're seeing in in, uh, in persecuted. I think James Remar, for example, you know, does a 
does a fantastic uh, uh, job uh, with that. So some of the some of the best movies out there, both independent and otherwise, are, are start uh, are, are are carried by uh, uh, people that are not uh, the big star level. So. I found out about this because I read The Hollywood Reporter, so obviously some people are taking notice of Persecuted. Uh, also, you are here at CPAC and it's uh, getting a pretty uh, good reception. In fact, that was what The Hollywood Reporter uh, article was about a couple of days ago, about the excitement that you're seeing here at CPAC uh, for this movie. By the way, the movie comes out on March 21st. In, yeah, in, I, think, uh, I, yeah. Think, uh, I think that's right. And uh, the website is uh, persecutedmovie.com. And uh, it's... Uh, uh, it's it's going to be released, and, and what what a group! Uh, a lot of groups are are, are getting together, and uh, uh, some are constitutionally oriented, some are churches, and, and others sure. and, and getting together, and uh, the, through the website are making a uh, commitment. To, uh, you know, bring the movie to our town, and, and you know we'll we'll be there, kind of thing. There you go. And so, uh, for all those interested, that's the way to. Uh, that's the way to make sure that you, you we get some distribution of this movie. So persecutedmovie.com and uh, make sure that you check because it is going to be released in theaters uh, as well. So check your listings near you on March 21st when it premieres. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to be one of those rare Hollywood films that builds an audience rather than sees it drop off because I think the interest, especially here, uh, it's been Could pretty be. profound. You know what's a strange thing to me? Uh, when, when you have a, a good substantive movie that, that's either a family-based thing that you can take the whole family to or something that's inspirational and uplifting and pro-American. <clears throat> when it's done well, it gets, it, it gets a wonderful response and they yes, make money off of it. Uh, and uh, you'd think you'd see more of them, uh, but uh, apparently not from, uh, from so much from the major studios, but as I say, with, with more of these independent films that are coming out, you're going to have some that are not very good, but like all things, but you're going to have more and more that, uh, that are done uh, well, and, and uh, I, I think people are going to be surprised how well they do at the box office. And by the way, if you want to see more of those types of films coming from independents and even from eventually studios, the way to do that is to go out and see these films when they are available to you. So again, persecutedmovie.com. March 21st is going to be the opening. Keep an eye out for it. And if it's not in your area, get in contact with uh, the folks at uh, persecutedmovie.com and see if you can get uh, something arranged. I'm talking with Senator Fred Thompson. Uh, we'll be back with more from CPAC 2014 from Hot Air Town Hall.